Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Down the Ultimate Two, <laughs> and welcome to uh, another episode on this channel. Um, I wanted to do a review of Pokemon Black Two. Oh, that rhyme. Uh huh. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, uh, this game came out July seventh in America, or July 9th, or July eighth. One of them. And uh, I got it two, three days after it came out. Um, I beat the game twice so far. And this game is pretty awesome. You get to catch all types of legendary Pokemons. Pokemons. Pokemon. Um, like Richie Ice, Richie Steel, you know, Heat Ran, stuff like that. So yeah, it's a pretty good game. Um, so yeah, in this, uh, uh, this series that when I do reviews, I'm going to rate stuff out of five. And, uh, yeah, now, right after I, you know, show you guys the goods and bads of this game, then I'll tell you my rating. So now, as you can see, that's Black Kyram, that's Kyram, um, and the Zekrom fused using the DNA splicers. And, uh, they look like that. And this is the first game that introduced, uh, actually fusing Pokemon. So, yeah, it was pretty awesome. So, that's why, I, that's Probably the main reason why I got a lot of attention. Now, um, the Pokemon itself, Black Kyurem and White Kyurem, are technically the strongest, the second strongest Pokemon of all time, uh, stat wise, because they have the dumb two, Black Kyurem. White Kyurem is in Pokemon Y2 version on the cover, um, with Reshiram and, and Kyurem, and they're the second strongest, uh, because they have the second highest base stats. Number one is Arceus, of course, because Arceus is like the Pokemon god, so it has to like stay in front or whatever. But anyway, um, yeah, so yeah, this is Black Kyurem. He's actually the same type as, um, as Kyurem, which is Dragon and Ice, even though it could, um, learn electric moves, including an ice move that could electrocute you, which is called Free Shock. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, um, here's the back. It shows, uh, the two per protagonist um the girl looks really hot but the guy he looks he looks kind of weird like a, a friend of mine actually he says he kind of looks like a uh, sideshow bob <laughs> like a, a anime weird version but yeah um the storyline in this game is pretty awesome as you can see that guy over there um he's actually the new the new leader of the of the group but gets his gets is still there of course but he's like the gets is like the 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 main boss, but he's the boss. Um, yeah, let that focus. Yeah. Now, um, here, yeah, in this scene here, uh, you can actually be in a movie where you, uh, face other people in, like, in the movie. And this take, this takes place actually two years later in the Unova region. Um, that's, at first when I heard about that, I really didn't like that because I wanted new regions and everything and they have the same starters. At least they, at least in my opinion, they should have start, uh, started out with uh, a neutral Pokemon like, like Eevee or something, and uh, that would have been cool. But uh, fortunately, not. But you could, you could catch Eevee as much Eevees as you want, actually, in this game, which is pretty awesome. They're pretty rare, but still. And as you can see, that's Black Hyrule's face in the game. Really, they have really cool animations in this game. I have to give it that. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, this is pretty awesome. As you can see, that's uh, Black Kyurem right there. That's how it looks in the game. And that's a superior of all form of uh, Snivy, of course, and uh, or Snivy, whatever you want to, however you want to call it. And now they got this thing called a Dream Radar. It's for D uh, DS Wireless. Um, I mean, the Nintendo 3DS download. If you have a Nintendo DS, you can uh, you can use the Dream Radar. And right now, there's an event going on that's going to last until November, which is a uh, uh, the Genesec event, which I'm gonna get to a little bit later, but yeah, this is the back. This is it's pretty awesome. I gotta I gotta give it that red, green, and blue represented three starters: fire, grass, and water. I don't know a lot of people know about that. And, the, and here it says that all um this game is compatible with all DS uh, versions and stuff for like platinum and uh oh wait it is it's for, yeah it's compatible with all DS uh DS adventure Pokemon DS adventure versions. Like platinum, soul, silver, hard gold, stuff of that nature. So yeah, I already liked. I I really like that. How is it compatible? Compatible with everything. But yeah, now let's open it. 
Um, uh, here we go. All right, here's the here's the game itself. Uh, that's the cartridge. Uh, let's see if I can show you. All right, this is the first cartridge. Uh, Pokemon Black. Um, I I know you can't hardly see it because of my shadow and everything. Sorry about that. Let me take this out, and you can compare the two. Uh, as you can see, Pokemon Black is kind of like a checkerboard, checkerboardish of uh, of sorts. And um, here, Pokemon Black Two, the cartridge looks actually pretty cool. It has ice on on the top. So yeah, it really doesn't look that much different, but um, there is a difference. So uh, yeah. Now. Uh, here's Pokemon Black Version Two, the instruction booklet. Um, what I did, what I didn't like about this, this was, this is pretty small. What it pretty much is telling you to do is like how to move and interact and battle and stuff. Um, I remember in Pokemon Platinum, I think, or So Silver, one of them. Uh, it was Pokemon Platinum and Diamond and Pearl and stuff, where they were showing all the gym leaders. They showed all the gym leaders and stuff. And it showed you uh, the, how the gym bass looked and everything. Well, I guess they kind of gave up when they made this game because there was no gym leaders in here. I was really disappointed. I really liked the, the gym leaders, how they put the gym leaders in the manual. But, I, but I'm but i thinking that they're thinking that, hey, nobody reads the manual, so why why do we do all that extra work? But um, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking anyway. But here they showed the Unova uh, stuff like the Unova link, the key system, all of that. The memory link. Transfer Pokemon from previous Nintendo DS Pokemon series titles. So yeah, you can and you can migrate too. Um, yeah, here's the Sea Gear, which is also in the first game and stuff. Um, but there's a lot of there's a lot of options you can do in the game actually that you couldn't like. Uh, you know when you use like a repel, if you actually run out of steps in a repel, it actually gives you the option to use another. Which I really thought that was really really convenient because I know you guys were like hating to go right back in your bag then use it and then further on your adventure but now you don't have to do that um, so it's pretty awesome the bike doesn't do anything it's just the same bike it kinda sucks same theme music too <laughs> um, but yeah this game this game is pretty cool but uh, but it could um, they have some new cities in here in the Unova region you start off in um, in a new city that's not in the first game because it turns out that uh, the cities that you're in are actually part of the Unova region but was really distant because there was no gym leaders there but now there's gym leaders now like Sharon, Sharon's the first gym leader and stuff I know I'm ruining it for you but I mean if this is a review uh, you guys are gonna have to know the spoilers but um, yeah Sharon's the first gym leader I like that um, the, the town that you start off in are, is pretty big it, it even has a gym this is the first this is the first uh, game that actually did that. Um, but yeah, I always thought that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty cool game. The storyline is actually pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty great actually. Um, Pokemon, uh, I mean Team Neo Plasma, because in the first game it was Plasma. Now it's Team Neo Plasma. Team Neo, Pla Neo Plasma is right now is my favorite Pokemon villains ever. Um, they did so much. They even froze a city. Like, come on, using Kyron's power. Like, it's, it's pretty awesome how they did that. Um, so yeah, right now, they, they're the villains that did the most, at, in my opinion. Even though Team Plagma, uh, Team Magma and Team Aqua is like, uh, it's in my, it's one of my favorites. But, um, anyway. So yeah, the storyline is pretty awesome. You could, the post game is even, is even better. You can go to cities that you could um, in the first game, because at first, in the original gameplay in Pokemon Black, you can't go to some cities that you could in Pokemon. Uh, I mean, Black Two, you can't go into some cities that you could in Pokemon Black into the post game. But everything is different now. Um, I like how the wild, po the wild Pokemon are actually um, actually a lot stronger. Like they're level sixty five and stuff like that, which I which I don't mind. It's just that um, that's kind of overboard. Cause say if somebody wanted to start off and then like they had to take on a level sixty five Pokemon, um, <laughs> they won't have a good a good adventure. But anyway, yeah, here is the Genesect event. You can get to receive uh, a Genesect. Um, Genesect is pretty cool. My friend has it. Um, I think it's a Steel and Bug type. I'm not sure, but you can get uh, yourself a Genesect. Um, the event will last until uh, let's see. 
Oh yeah, here they show the Nintendo 3DS and everything. And the Dream Bright R and the Pokedex 3D Pro. Um, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it says available from October 7th to November 12th. So, yeah, you might want to go get that Genesect. Um, I have a Genesect, but I didn't get it through an event. I got it through trade. But anyway, um, yeah, you, I think you get the Genesect at around level 15 or level 15 or something like that. Yeah, it would be a good, great Pokemon to add to your party. But, um, and it could fly, which is, which I thought was pretty cool. But yeah, um, so yeah, in my, uh, opinion, out of five stars, I'll give Pokemon Black to, uh, four. A four. Maybe four and a half. Four, four, four and a half. One of those. But it's not a perfect five, it's not. Um, maybe, maybe if they had added new starters or something like that, and, uh, uh, yeah, but it, it does, it does deserve a four because, um, of, uh, because of the post game and everything. So I'll give it a four. So yeah, um, uh, leave in the comments. What do you, what do you guys think? Do I, do you guys think I went too hard on this game? Maybe I would have gave it a five or something because it's a pretty great game. Everybody's playing it right now. So yeah, I want you guys to post in the comments. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, what is and what is your rating of this game? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Uh, this has been Darren the Ultimate. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.